welcome to our midweek reflection. This is Thursday the 25th of June and we hope that you have a beautiful day just like it's a beautiful day here in Paisley. I hope you enjoyed that little reflection on the Lord's my shepherd. It's one of the best known psalms ever. It's been done in song, it's been done in poetry, it's been done as film, it's been done in all sorts of different ways. And yet it still leaves us sometimes a little perplexed about its meaning. It's a psalm that has real depth and hope in it. Real depth and hope in this topsy-turvy world in which we are currently living in. It takes away the uncertainty and fear in which we are currently being forced to live in. According to the psalmist, God provides us with strength and peace. And yes, in times such as this, that's exactly what we need. Yet, we need to stop and take our time. Draw up beside God and sit at his banqueting table. We need to sit with him and admire the beauty round about us and the flowers and in the trees and in the valleys, in the seas and the rivers. We need to take time to be still and calm with God, to contemplate with him just exactly what our world is like. Stop all the rushing and round. Stop trying to do something all the time. Just be still and know that God is good. Because it's about discovering God's presence in everything that we begin to make our little breakthroughs with God. Discovering that he is in nature, that he is in the city, that he is in the war zone and the disaster zone, that he is everywhere round about us. For therein we might find our own rest and our own peace. God bless you. Thank you for listening. Let's just pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for the world in which we live, for the beauty that surrounds us, whether in the heart of the city with the great architectures, or in the peacefulness of the countryside with the rolling hills and the slopes, the animals, the plants, and everything else that makes up our world. Be with us in the midst of this coronavirus outbreak that we may soon be able to find a cure as slowly things begin to revert to how it used to be. And yet having come in through such a time, life will never quite be like it used to be. So may we learn the things that we have learned through this time to be more gentle and loving with one another, to look out for one another, to talk to one another, to express our concern for one another, to support those workers that we often ignore and give thanks for all the part they've played in making our life that little bit better in these times. So bless us, Holy God, in the name of Christ our Lord, Amen.